back like we never left. What is good, everybody? Today's video is on why no contact always works. Yep, always. Now you already know how I get down. I don't like to waste time and I'm ready to get into it. So let's do that right now. I mean, you are trying to get back right, right? Trying to find yourself again, trying to get realigned and regaining your confidence, searching for answers, closure, and just trying to find the way to let all the way go? Yeah, then let's talk. The way we cope with grief after a breakup or divorce is not linear, right? The way that we try to make sense of being single again, trying to restart your life again without training wheels, after we invest years into a relationship, we basically do a factory reset on our expectations, right? On our boundaries and how we view said relationship ships moving forward in the future. So what does that mean, Weave? It means instead of hopping into a new rebound relationship, it's best that you go sit your ass back down and get you back right first. This means a change to your schedule, to your priorities, and to who and what you invest your time, effort, and energy into. See, we get so overwhelmed with anger, disappointment, bargaining, and resentment after the breakup that we even have to start over, and it creates a disconnect from self. And when I say disconnect from self, I'm referring to the shift between your perceptions and your perspective. Does it make sense yet? Let me explain. Your perception is how you think that relationship should have gone. The types of answers you should have. The type of disrespect you never thought someone who loves you would show. And as we try to put those pieces of the puzzle together, we get slapped with a dose of reality, don't we? That everybody doesn't love and go the extra mile like you do. Now, when I say perspective, I mean shifting the way you think about and how you view both the relationship and the breakup. How you look at your value before and after matter. And it matters because sometimes Sometimes we are made to feel bad. Like we didn't do enough. Like you didn't try hard enough, love well enough, didn't satisfy them enough. And in all honesty, that may be true from their perspective. But objectively, you gave your best. And guess what? It wasn't good enough for your ex. But there's another key to this that's super important. Your best will be more than enough for someone who truly loves and appreciates you. They will appreciate those efforts and the care you put into a relationship. So when I say no contact always works, it always helps you put your life Life, your boundaries and your love into its proper perspective. And once you can shift how you look at the efforts that you gave, once you can start giving yourself grace, and once you can start being proud of how hard you did try, the sooner you can come to the conclusion that your ex served their purpose in your life. That time wasn't in vain. It either gave you temporary happiness, temporary dysfunction and headaches, showed you what you do and don't need to be better with, but it absolutely showed you exactly what it is the fuck you don't want in your life in the future, right? As all always. Thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. If you're new to the channel, you know what you gotta do. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom. Come join a team that will always push you towards personal greatness. I'll be back soon with another new video, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired, and as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.